You know, there's a popular show on TV right now. It's called uh, America's Got Talent. And I was watching it a week or so ago, and I saw these three brothers, late 60s, maybe early 70s, called the Masqueraders. You might have seen it. And it really touched my soul because these brothers obviously epitomize some ones who had never given up on their dreams. Not only that, someone though that uh, as a collective that had faith in something greater than themselves in order to be the best of themselves. And they never gave up. You know, as you go through this life, there's gonna be distractions and detractors there's going to be just downright haters. I'm sure somebody told them back in 1965, look, y'all been doing this for five years. You ain't had no major hits. Every other Negro I know can sing, so it ain't like you're doing nothing new. Get a job and just get somewhere and be quiet. But they didn't let that discourage them. You know, faith has an address. And I say this in my book. Faith has an address, and it is that place where God does best bless you. And when you do that thing, which you do in earnest, sometimes that faith can just spill over onto somebody else. You can't get enough faith, and that spillover is something that that someone else is counting on. I thank God for those brothers. I really do. I wish them Godspeed, but I'll tell you, they've already been successful because they've done something in earnest through discipline, something that we all can relish of life and time in Clifton West.